Okay, I think everyone's found their seats. Thank you so much for coming. This is a very humbling experience for me personally. Um, I founded Flutistry about almost five, six years ago now, I think, in my apartment. And I sold my flute and I built this room, which was a total gamble. Um, and it's really paid off with a lot of really wonderful artistic experiences right here. And today is especially um, important to me and to all of us in the room because of the great um, man that we are honoring. And we're so thrilled that you are here with us, Mr. Willoughby. Thank you so much for coming. And then um, just another thing to let everyone know, if you haven't seen the signs, we are actually live streaming this event as we do all of our events. Um, and the camera is up there and the mics are all here. So hello, friends online. Um, we had a lot of really wonderful submissions from people for our special video tribute, which we're going to premiere um, at the end of this program. So we hope you get to stick around to, to watch that. And um, I think without further ado, we should get into welcoming our incredible uh, guest performers who are here to honor Mr. Willoughby. So um, I'd like to welcome Ms. Julie Skolnick to the stage.
Thank you. 
I think the most incredible collection of live performances we've had here yet. It's such an honor that you were able to bring us all together. Um, so now we have just a, a short, I think it's about a 12 minute uh, video that was put together um, with so many wonderful um, friends and colleagues and former students 
of yours, um, who some who weren't be able to weren't able to be here, excuse me, and others that um, were able to make it last minute. We have some people that just drove in from Albany and then up from New York, and we brought people in from all over. And then of course we have many people online as well. Of course, in the program you can see some upcoming events. Um, we do have a lot of events, not quite like this one, but some really great events here. Um, and in fact, um, Gergai Itzis, who you heard earlier today, uh, he's actually doing a fall recital here at the end of this month. So it's just in a couple of weeks, actually. And then we have um, Julia Bogorad from St. Paul Chamber Orchestra is going to be here doing a master class on Moise. And then uh, we will have, uh, I believe at the end of May, if I'm correct, is uh, Julianne Bodemont coming to play, uh, doing a master class and a recital here as well. So um, you can stay tuned to fluteevents.com. Um, and to our Facebook page, you'll find out more about those events. So we hope you'll be able to join us for those as well. Um, and of course, an event like this of this scale, uh, which is really actually the culmination of a, a four-day event that we've had with the great Mark Sparks doing an artist residency here, and Tim Carey right behind him. Um, we've, we've really had a great time uh, together, and it's been, a, a, I think, the largest undertaking besides the Boston Flute Festival and the NFA. Uh, that we usually do and so um, it's been really wonderful to experiment with this format and a lot of you have been here and we appreciate you coming and for tuning in online um, and there are some people to thank uh, to have a, a three-day event with mark and then to have a fourth day with this type of scale um, project uh, of course i want to say a special thank you of course to you mr willoughby and your family john and i uh, your son john and i've been texting uh, fiercely to keep in touch on what's been going on with the schedule and the program. Um, and actually, I, of course, am traveling a lot and I uh, am relying on my team and also great friends of Flutistry and this community. And uh, a special thank you to Linda Toot, who stepped in and arranged everyone's schedule to be here today. So, thank you. And pretty good on timing. Well done. Yeah, well done. Um, <laughs> So, um, of course, a lot of the folks that I've already mentioned, and I was, I don't know, in Chicago, I was at O'Hare Airport, and they thought I kept flushing the toilet, but it was the airplanes <laughs> going overhead. We had a group call on the phone uh, to talk about some things, and the other person on the phone was um, Renee Crimsier, who we, I don't know if she's here right now, but, oh, there, sorry, <laughs> trying to see all the faces. So, thank you so much. It was, it was, in fact, your idea to bring it to the attention of Flutistry that we should do something, and it happened to work right in line with, um, with Mark's uh, residency. So thank you as well, Renee. Really appreciate yeah. your <laughs> And also, um, Wendy Rolfe was very helpful, and uh, Megan Jacoby for helping like, pull together a master list and to get the word out about this event. So I'd like to thank all of those folks for their contribution. <laughs> And finally, just for, for my own sake, we don't usually do this, but I just would like to thank my team here at Flutistry. We have an incredible, I mean, they're just some of the best friends and great flutists, all of them. Although we have a great clarinetist on staff. <laughs> Everyone else is a flutist. But they're all great. And, um, but in, in particular, you know, I think what's great about being an artist and being a trained musician is that you, you really can be just a great professional. And it's great to work with those folks and to have them as friends and colleagues and to feel like, Okay, here's the vision, here's the mission. Everyone has their responsibility, let's do it. And it's been incredible. This team has worked triple time um, doing, I got a text today from one of the team members saying, we sold a flute today in the midst of all this, which was a real surprise for us, it was quite nice. Um, but uh, so I just would like to give a great round of applause to my entire Flutistry Boston team, who without them, we would not be here. Right now. And we took our, poster that we did for the event um, and it has all of the participants right here and um, everyone has signed the poster uh, for you so we'd like to give this to you so you have uh, a record of
This is Paula Robeson sending you much love. I wish I could be with you today. I'm just in awe of everything you've done as an artist and a person. And right now I'm in awe of you in your life at my age. I'm grateful for you in so many ways. Lots of love. Have a great party. Bye. Hello, Mr. Willoughby and Flutistry. I'm so sad that I can't be there with you to share in the celebration and hear the beautiful flute playing, the beautiful music. Uh, I was reflecting on my four years as a student in Mr. Willoughby's studio at Longy. And I learned so many lessons, a lot of life lessons, a lot of flute lessons, a lot of leadership lessons. And I thought the best way I could honor you is by introducing you to your grand students. So I thought of these lessons, I wrote some of them down and let them choose which ones they're learning today at the Boston Conservatory. And so I'd just like you to introduce you to the next generation of flute players and thank you so much for everything. Hi, my name is Tim. Hope you have a great day. Hi, I'm Katie. I chose Sing and Patience. Hello, my name is Elaine Martier, and I chose Rubato and Love of Life because these are both things I struggled with when I came here just enjoying my flute playing. And I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. And thank you so much for passing down your words of wisdom to Sarah and now all of your grand students. So, happy birthday. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eugene Claire Lee. Um, happy birthday, and I chose vibrato and humor. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Julie. Um, I chose legato and support. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Willoughby. My name is Colleen, and I chose intensity and lead. Thanks, Mr. Willoughby. <laughs> Mr. Willoughby, happy birthday to one of the kindest and wittiest human beings that I have ever had the chance to meet. Uh, I will always remember all of the wonderful ways to play the flute that you've taught me, but perhaps most important, I want to say thank you for the life lesson that you shared about how important it is to keep learning and keep an open mind. Happy birthday. So happy to celebrate with you today. love contemporary classical music back at Oberlin. This is what I'm into now, trying to beatbox. I hope you can forgive me, but I just want to congratulate you on this wonderful, well-deserved Boston tribute that you're having today, and to thank you again for taking me on as a student and enabling me to have the wonderful life that I've had as a flutist and flute professor. And because you are my role model, I could even have 30 or more years left to keep doing this. I hope you have a great day. Hi, Mr. Willoughby. I wanted to take this opportunity to let you know what an honor it was to be able to work with you at the Launchy School of Music. You really are a wonderful teacher. Happy birthday. Hi, Mr. Willoughby. We're wishing you all the best for your birthday from Interlochen. Happy birthday! Happy, Happy, birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday! For his 95th birthday, I'd like to propose a toast to the greatest flute teacher who ever lived, who has raised the bar of flute playing throughout the world, who I think of every day. Bob Willoughby, here's to you. Happy 95th birthday year, Mr. Willoughby. This is Vanessa Holroyd. I studied with you at the Longy School of Music in the late 90s. Without you, I wouldn't have a clue how to approach playing Bach, which is mostly what I do these days with Emmanuel Music. So thank you so much for everything and happy, happy birthday. 
Hi, Bob. Like so many of your students, I owe so much to you. Your wisdom helped me to develop as a flutist. Your intelligence nurtured me as a musician. And your kindness helped to shape me as the person I am today. I hope to see you soon. Hi, Bob. It's Leela Breithaupt. Happy birthday for the whole year of being 95 and coming up being 96. I want to thank you for everything that you've done for me, from teaching me about music and phrasing, to teaching me about books and history, relationships, and how to have a sense of humor in life. Thank you. It means so much to me, and you've been such an influence in my life. Happy celebration. Hi, Mr. Willoughby. Greetings from New York. Uh, I just wanted to say congratulations. I'm so excited that Flutistry decided to honor you with such a great event. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've taught me. Uh, you're such an inspiration to all of us. Um, so I think I speak for most of your students when I say thank you for all that you do for the flute community. Um, I just wanted to play a short little clip from a Handel Sonata, uh, which I think was one of the last things that I worked with you um, in my lessons at Longy, and I'll be playing it on a recital uh, over the summer. Uh, so here it is. Good evening, Bob. It's been five decades since you asked this young Akron, Ohio girl to play her Daphnis. And she replied, my what? Thank you for encouraging us all to beat to our own drummer. Thank you for the many, many wonderful years of your excellent teaching to all of us who were fortunate enough to study with you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bob. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I've got some flowers and some cookies for you to enjoy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Bob. Birthday. Look. Happy birthday. Hi, Mr. Willoughby. I'm Juliana, and I'm very thankful because you were the right teacher at the right time for me. 
Hi, Mr. Willoughby, this is Julie, and you've not only served as an inspiration to me, but also many flute players throughout the world. Thank you so much. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Feliz cumpleaños! Sing the phrase. What is the most important note? More vibrato! On the first note. Oh my god. On the first note, not the last one. Yeah. <laughs> why you do the vibrato at the end? It doesn't well, make sense. It doesn't make sense. Hello, Bob. You've been someone I've admired for so very, very long, and you are truly the grandmaster of not only flute, but the grandmaster of music and the grandmaster of how to live and how to mentor and how to make a real contribution in one's life. Here's to 95 years and another 95 more. You have so much to offer and have been offering it a plenty for very, very, very long. And we are so deeply grateful. Best wishes to you. Dear Mr. Willoughby, I never had the chance to study with you on a weekly basis, but I did benefit terrifically from a one-time lesson at the Longy School when I was a professional in Boston. You taught that Mozart concerto to me in such a way that I never imagined possible, and I have thought of phrasing differently ever since then. I learned so much from you, and when you played for me, the treasure that came out of your instrument with riches in color nearly knocked me over. Truly, I almost fell over. Thank you so much, Mr. Willoughby. I'm indebted to you and in awe. With love, happy birthday. What a special occasion. Um, I, I don't think there's a day that goes by that I don't think of you. And uh, all the way from memories of you know, showing up in your studio and really having no idea what I was doing and having to sort of learn from the ground up and learning so much from you uh, then, um, not just about how to play the flute, but how to be an artist and uh, how to think, um, how to try and be humble, how to figure things out. I'm still working on it. I'm not sure I've got it yet, but uh, I think of you in all those moments, uh, and I'm remembering the great privilege of um, serving on the faculty um, at Peabody with you, and I got to learn more there uh, by watching you uh, interact with the students and all the perspective students and um, it's just been an incredible thing for me to have you um, in my life as an example um, and I can't thank you enough um, for all the encouragement that you uh, for that you gave me um, especially when I showed up as such an arrogant young flutist and uh, I still remember your patience with me. So I'm forever grateful. And um, you know, we used to say in the studio that uh, if we played really well, uh, if we really did it right, you might say we did bloody good. And 
you know, I'm still just, when I perform, when I play, I'm still just trying to do bloody good. So, happy birthday, Bob.